What is up YouTube? Johnny B here again today. We're gonna to be working on the Fiesta ST. Last episode, we were able to go to UMS tuning and do some dyno pools and see what power we could make. And one of the issues that we found in the last video, after speaking with the tuner of the Fiesta ST, found out that the spark plug in cylinder one was not working properly. It was fluctuating. It was messing with the timing, causing the tune to kind of like be erratic. So we're gonna go ahead and change out the spark plugs. He also said and recommended to change them every 10 to 15,000 miles. The car has like 25,000 miles on it now. After, you know, that's just the mileage on the car. We've probably been running it in the high boost setup with ethanol for a little bit above like three, four or 5,000 miles. So that's probably what finish, finished off the original factory spark plugs. Um, it probably still has the factory Fomoco uh, spark plugs in there. So we wanna go ahead and change those out. And for that, we went with NGK Iridium spark plugs. This is the one that everybody is recommended. Um, I run a lot of these in most of my cars because they are made in Japan and Japan seems to have it, you know, down to a science and making the best stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on the yes, ST today. So in case you guys are wondering of how to change the spark plugs on your ST, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it so you guys can have an idea. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the little engine cover so we can expose where our spark plugs are at. So now that we took the cover off, we can expose all of our coil packs and we're gonna go ahead and, and remove those now. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull this little gray pin and then push down on it. And then we can go ahead and unplug every single one of the coil packs, kind of get all the cables out of the way. That's always the best option to do. And then after you got all the coil packs disconnected, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket to go ahead and remove all these bolts. There's two eight millimeter sockets on each of them. I went ahead and put it on my little DeWalt gun. So it makes it a lot easier to just go ahead and remove all these. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove all of the coil packs. They're gonna be stuck in there pretty well. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of help with the flathead screwdriver just to pry them out. If you can get them out without the flathead, you know, that's always a plus. And then we have to get like a nice little angle so we can go ahead and pull them out. And when you take them out, make sure you place them in order. That way when we put them back, we know exactly where they go. to remove the spark plugs is a 5 8 socket that's made for spark plugs so it has like a little rubber gasket inside that helps hold them in place. So here's the spark plug. They're not looking too bad, but they do have a little bit of like white whitening and then there's also a little bit of red um, coloration. But overall, you know, they don't look too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them anyways. Regardless, that was the whole plan. Let's go ahead and take the rest of them out.
All right guys, so there you go. The spark plugs are fully installed. Make sure that when you tighten down the spark plugs, you don't use too much force. Uh, and then if you do, um, what I normally do to tighten them down is I put my hand on the center section of the wrench just to give it that nice little snug fitting. But since it's not gonna, since you don't have your hand all the way at the end of the wrench, you're not gonna be using that much force on it. Because if you do over tighten them, you can strip the threads. And if you do, then you're gonna have an issue with having to remove your head and redo all that, which is something that we that nobody wants. Also, one thing to make sure is before you remove the spark plugs, spray a little bit of air, compressed air or something in there to get all of the debris out of the, out of the spark plug area. Because if you don't and you go ahead and remove the spark plugs, there could be some dirt or like leaves or something that fall into, into the piston chamber and you don't want that either. So you just gotta be really careful. Make sure it's always clean. Make sure that you don't over tighten them and then you should be good, good to go. That's those are like the main things that work that can go bad really, really fast. And that's something that you don't want. We don't want to happen. The spark plugs were like 20 bucks. Um, the ones that we got because we're able to get them at a, at a little bit of a discounted price. But there's multiple uh, options that you guys have. We just bought them from our local pet boys. We didn't feel like ordering them online. So we just went to our local shop to go get them. Um, so they're fully installed now. We just went ahead and put everything back together how it was. And uh, the last thing to do to make sure that we installed them properly is to see if the car turns on. Yeah, everything looks normal.